There she goes. There she goes again. Morning, y'all. Right, it's my last day in the UK for a few days because I'm going on this cruise tomorrow. We're going to meet the winner. We're going to give him a lesson. So the daily vlogs were going to be interesting. going to be from the Cunard cruise ship uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, I think we play to see how difference I've made to his swing. So we'll try and vlog that as well. And then I think Sunday we play actually. Hello, Orla. Haven't you eaten up nicely? You know, so have you said good morning yet? Good morning. <laughs> Actually, I think it's it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, play home Monday. So we're going to do a good old-fashioned swing fix today, kind of swing ideas. We're going to talk a bit about aim. So today's question will be, where do you try and aim with your body when you hit golf shots? Are you aiming parallel to the target, at the target, to the right, to the left? Where are you aiming? And then in your comment as well, write down what shape shot you hit if you draw it or fade it or hit it dead straight as well down in that comment section remember to thumbs up the daily vlogs and all the other videos as well and also hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button videos every day to all blow vlogs to well you know the drill you know the drill Let's take a look at today's swing. So we're going to talk about aim, because this player seems to be aiming straight down the line. Or I actually know this hole. I'm pretty sure this is new key, and that is out of bounds all the way down the left. Now, we're going to talk about aim, and then in relationship to club path ideas, and where they think they're swinging the club. So we see a bit of a strong right hand grip. So right hand looks under the club. Then we see a top of the back swing where people will see that's across the line. So his club is pointing way right of where his feet line points, which we can kind of talk about those ideas often a lot to do with the way they're using trail shoulder, how they're rotating it. And then downswing. Club appears to be coming what we would call from the inside, but there's a confusion here because look where he strikes the ball. If we look at the just after impact here, literally look where his face is twisted to. So the heel strike there has made that face just completely turn and now we see the ball start low left which looks like it goes out of bounds. So we're going to talk about aim and club path and how they need to sink or not sink for you to hit the best shots. Let's go to school. Yes. DJ OJ in the house. Right back there Captain Lolly. Yours. Right job off done, a few jobs done. Let's get to Talkie Golf Club. Right Daniel son. Good morning. So, first point with this golfer. So, I've got a golfer on the video. You've not seen him, Dan. I'll show you. No. Yeah. So, what he does, right, he's got strong right hand grip. Yeah. Aims left, which appears to look at the out of bounds. He's playing at Nuki, actually, on that one down the hill. It's about the third or fourth, like, drivable path. Yeah, drivable path four. four, yeah. So, he's aimed at the out of bounds on the left. Yeah. He then swings club going this way, which yeah. appears to be very this way to that side. Hits a massive heel with the club. You can see the club is literally, look at the club like that yeah. after he's hit the ball. I've done a million videos on grip. His grip might be encouraging him to push that club a long way into out because obviously the grip might be turning the face, the point less lofted and more to the left. We're not going to focus on grip today because I just want to talk a bit more about alignment and how his alignment, in my opinion, is probably not helping any of the lines he sees in his head. So my biggest rule when it comes to alignment is I don't care where you aim, as long as you know the lines you are creating and then how that reacts to your path or not. Does that make any sense? What do you reckon about that, Dan? Does that make sense to you or not? It's quite an abstract statement. I know lots, of, I've never heard anyone explain it this way, but I've always thought this. So watch this. Yeah. If I want my club path to be zero, I can aim like this. Because I'm aware that my feet are pointing way left. Yeah. So I'm aware that I'm gonna now ignore them and swing my club on the path I see a zero down below. Yep. And I could equally aim this, because I'm aware that my feet are pointing way to the right, so I'm gonna ignore them as any kind of guidelines and swing on my, recognized in my head, zero path. What I would choose to do is I will get my feet parallel to the ball, the target line, if I'm hitting a shot that hasn't got much shape, and then I will allow my feet body lines to try and assist with my ideas of swinging zero. So they don't make me swing zero, they just assist me, but I can equally do it without them. And that's the skill that lots of people go the other way round. So my point is I don't know if he knows he's aiming so far left. So if he is using his feet the way I use my feet to assist with my path, what's he doing? 
So think about this. If I had something in my way here, and I had to stand like this, I could still swing on whatever path I wanted to swing. Yeah. That's the skill. Yeah. So your feet and your aim can assist paths as long as you know where those feet are in relationship to the path you create. So for this player, what happens if he aims there, let's pretend he swings 10 into L. If I get him aiming what we call straight and his friends say, you need to aim straight, Jack, don't know his name. Yeah. Does his path now go 20 right? It doesn't look like his feet have any relationship in his mind to his path, but I would guess he thinks they are the same, they're aligning. Does he know that he's swinging it into out by that He doesn't amount? know what path he's swinging on, and he doesn't know where his feet are pointing on, so we are talking chaos golf, right. and that's the point. We need to get ideas of getting the path calmed down, yeah. and getting the path to be encouraged by the way his yeah. feet are pointing. Yeah. Where at the moment, it's random, it's basically this. <laughs> Good job, I like that. <laughs> but dude, that's what it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Don't know where my feet are now, I'm not sure where I swung, but I just tried to hit it after I landed. Yeah. And he, and this is a common thing with juniors. And it's a common thing with my lessons. I, they say to me, my friends tell me I always aim to the right. Yeah. Okay, you hit shots and their face is always close to the path. Yeah. They need to aim to the right. They have to, yeah. So their friends aiming them straight is more dangerous. Because they're going to go further Because they haven't got an idea of where their face is in relationship to their path. So yeah. how do they know? where to aim. We've got to get this golfer and lots of golfers out there understanding that aim isn't the answer. Aim is just there to assist you if you link the two together mm. of where you're pointing your feet in relationship to your path. Right, yeah. As always, loads of fun. Hope you enjoyed the live. If you caught it today, if you didn't check out my channel, we did a live about pitching. Some interesting information. Time to get home. Right, made it home. And just so we know, Christmas has gone into the loft. Tick. And the Iceland pictures have gone up on the wall. Tick. Just a big pack up now for tomorrow's cruise trip. All right, let's get some ideas of path and feet and how to bring them a bit closer. So look, if I do this in my living room, club on the floor is my feet line, and then I've just got nine iron in my hand making a few little kind of waist high, waist high swings. I can see my club is kind of moving curved so in, back out, and back in. But at the bottom of that arc, my head reads that as moving relatively straight. If we think about your relationship, you are feet left, path right. So part of feet, path, nine iron. So if you move your feet straight, path moves crazy right. So for you, we're naturally aiming left and then separating path off to the right, if you aim now at the target, let's say that now moves your path 20 degrees right, for you to go back on my arc straighter, you're going to have to feel 20 degrees different on path to where I feel. So where I can feel like I'm quite straight, you need to feel 20 degrees straighter or more to out to in. And obviously I'm just putting these numbers out there, but 20 degrees obviously is massive. So you are going to need to get home, get some lines on the floor, Feel some kind of parallels to down near the ball to parallel, so club lining up with shafts on the floor. Just to give you some idea of if you were to hit the ball at zero, because obviously attack angle will play into path, but if we take it that you're just kind of hitting at low point zero, just to kind of get you within four or five degrees of your aim, as probably my experience of coaching, you will feel like you have to move like this. So like massively across to get the feeling that I get if we need that path and that aim to kind of start to align up, to kind of marry up. The key here, and this is, I do this so much with people who have aim to path contradictions, is you need to feel big, it needs to feel very different. You've got to kind of recalibrate, and a recalibrate for lots of people is like a turn it off and on again, it's a restart. Because actually the real game is I can get your path somewhere near where we'd want it to be so you're a bit more functional and strike is a bit easier because you're not hitting so far kind of from your side and away from you, often causing those heel strikes and up strikes. The real game, and I say this to all my students, is getting you to be able to go, this is straight, this is in to out, this is out to in, feet at any angle, this is straight, this is in to out, this is out to in. Because I've said it lots before, but it's still so true, 
That is the skill. The skill is being able to control your path when you need to. Not, not really knowing where you're aiming and then not really knowing where your path is having this ma massive deviation then when you need to change it, I mean you just won't get out to win with that kind of deviation at the moment. You'd have to aim so far left, wouldn't you? Almost behind yourself. Post comments down below. Let me know if this makes sense. When I do it one to one with students with their demonstrations, they kind of have total light bulb moments where the idea of understanding where zero is or understanding where two degrees into out is or two degrees out to in is when you work with skilled players it's where they think it is often when you work with lesser skilled players it's nowhere near where they think it is that's the issue Poach comments come on I want to know if this makes sense because I'll do more on it if it doesn't because like I say when I do it one to one with students absolutely like but come on I want to hear let me know post those comments Big, big key factor when it comes to aim that I see people just get wrong constantly is thinking that you just need to aim at the target. Just aiming straight. So if you've managed to identify how your feet influence your path and let's say you're, let's say you're like me, so I swing quite zero, so you'll see me aiming parallel to my target line with my body because I'm hitting relatively zero. But any shots that I'm shaping, let's take this putt for example, if it broke from the right, so if it broke from there, I would move my feet face out to that position, start the ball out to the right, and then let the break take the ball to the target. Think of that as a draw shot. If I know my ball's gonna move right to left in the air, I'm gonna aim more up the right. I need that ball starting up the right. I can't have it starting straight, so I'm gonna put my feet there, I'm gonna get my face pointing that way, and then my path will be more right than that, and then boom, there's my draw onto target. And the opposite, if I was gonna hit a fade, so this break now is a left to right breaking putt, I'm gonna aim my feet parallel to that line in my mind to get that breaking to the hole. And that's no different to the faders out there. When I stood behind Montgomery at the seniors finale event in Mauritius last year, he was aiming everything up the left. There was one hole where there were trees on the left and he took it within inches of the tree and was he called it a bit necky so he got closer to the tree than he wanted it to. But you know, even though he played that hole well all week, that drive wasn't his favourite. You know, he was having to really fight that starting direction, but he still aimed up the left. He played to his advantage. The amount of students that come to me kind of through mate advice, trying to get their heads around aim, trying to aim at target when they're blatantly a consistent shape of the ball, you'll be amazed at how many times I can have that conversation with students and instantly get them hitting better shots. Just by getting them to understand that aiming at the hole is not always the answer. There we go, thanks for watching. It's stir fry night. Whoa! Love to hear your comments on this one. Post comments down below as always. I will see you tomorrow. I'm not sure when the vlogs will post. I'm gonna try and do them on the day, but obviously I'm subject to the boats, Wi-Fi and all those kind of things. I am going on a cruise tomorrow and the next four or five days, whatever, I can't work it out. You can watch me teach a guy and see if we can get him going from A to B. Can we get him improving in the time we spend together? So it should be some fun, live, real lessons I hope you can all learn from. See you all tomorrow. Game, that's good.